Welcome to the Defense and Aerospace Report. I'm Fagan Maradian in Orlando, Florida at the Air Force Association's annual Air Warfare Symposium. Uh, the topic this year is command and control and fusion warfare. And we are honored to have with us General Rob Rand, who is the commander of Global Strike Command, uh, the steward of the Air Force's nuclear assets, uh, uh, based at Sunny Barksdale Air Force Base. Sir, thanks for joining us. You're welcome, Vago. Good to see you again. Uh, great to see you, sir. Um, obviously, uh, the service has had some challenges. You know, one of your jobs is, you know, re, you know, working on the cultural aspects of it, the procedural aspects of it, the modernization, the thinking, the strategy that goes uh, in an increasingly nuclear age. You could, you could argue. Are you confident that some of the processes, procedures, and the work that that the command has been doing for these years, and you've been focusing on, are paying dividends? That that some of these ugly incidents we've seen, whether it's been cheating or anything else, are things that are totally in the past. I'm very confident. It's an exciting time to be in the command, and we've we've come a long way in the last three or four years. So short answer is yes, I'm very confident. Let me take you uh, to the question of uh, the triad. And why, you know, there are some folks now in this debate who are saying, well, we don't need the land-based ICBMs or, or the free-fall weapons or something that's not necessary for us. Uh, some question even an investment in a nuclear cruise missile, for example. From your standpoint, why are uh, the land-based ICBMs and those free-fall nuclear weapons important as part of the triad? Right. I think it's important because the triad, is, uh, the land base, is one of the things that we are the most responsive. We're the one uh, leg of the triad that's 24-7 alert right now, so it's great. Uh, responsiveness for the president and also the dispersal feature of the ICBM so that legs very very important um, let me ask you about modernization um, you know as you're looking into the future um, you know there looks like there's going to be investment the president has talked about the importance of, of, of nuclear weapons and changing this you know mm -hmm. not that the Obama administration wasn't they started the process but there was uh, some procedures in place not to develop new weapons rather just right. upgrade existing weapons for example what are some of the ideas and capabilities that would be useful especially in a world where the Russians in particular are talking very casually about using tactical right. nukes, for example? Well, I think just the idea of modernization is important because things, you know, age out. And deterrence is based on the fundamental belief that uh, no one will try to test us or attack us for the consequences. And they have to believe there would be consequences. Uh, to deter, you have to have reliable systems and they have to be survivable. And our systems are at the point now they are becoming increasingly difficult to ensure their reliability and their survivability. And so, we're doing that, but it's time to upgrade, particularly the ICBM, the land base leg, and we have to make some modernization efforts in our air base leg. And those are efforts are underway, and we're going to proceed with that. Do you know what the new cruise missile should look like? No, we don't. Right now, there's a request for proposal for the, and I'm assuming you're talking about the long, the LRSO that will replace our air launch cruise missile. It's out request for proposal right now, and there's uh, industry partners, and they'll come back with with their solutions and then we'll go into a source selection and a downgrade and a contract award. Let me ask you one last question. I know your time is short. Uh, on nuclear thinking, once nuclear thinking was inculcated across the force from the tactical uh, fighter wings all the way to right. the the, uh, the bomber force, obviously, uh, you know, and senior political leaders would regularly exercise right. on a nuclear level. Do we need to get some of this cultural thinking so that God forbid the worst sure case scenario do. has. Sure we do, and we're doing that. I think the chief of staff, General Goldfein, has been very supportive. We're already increasing uh, some awareness in some of the courses that we're teaching, not just the people in Air Force Global Strike, but across the Air Force. So the answer is yes, we do need to get some of that, that back, and we are, so. Sir, thanks so much you for spending time with us. Thank you, good to see Cheers. you.